Good afternoon from the University of Maryland. This is the first day of spring practice. I am Wayne Viner as intern Mason. Mason, there's some new kids on the block for the Terps who gray-shirted and rolled early in college. What do you have today? Well, it starts off with Vincent Fleith, Tyler Dessou, the quarterback, Chagozim Onkonkwa, Jordan Mosley, Jay Sean Jones, Darrell Nansimi, Jalen Alexander, and then the transfers, Byron Cowart, Trey Watson, and TJ Bradley. Well, we'll talk about on the linebacker side. The young man who came from Illinois is Trey Watson. I like him a lot, led that team in tackles, can really help out a team that seems to have struggled at linebacker over the past few seasons. Uh, they have. They need a little bit of depth at linebacker. Uh, it's great to have this many gray shirts to get to go through spring practice. With some of the injuries on the offensive line, defensive line, you're actually going to see some of these guys get in the game early in the spring game. And as you said, as you look behind us, there's football going on all over the place. It's great coming off of the weekend in New York City with basketball. Uh, what are your expectations uh, when you have three guys at quarterback that probably or might not play? Well, it's definitely going to be a different look for this team during the spring. You don't have what's expected to be your one or two guy at quarterback. And I'm interested to see how that's going to affect the offense. Right. I know we had to see it before with guys like Perry Hills and C.J. Brown. But this is a new administration that hasn't had to deal with something like that yet. Well, Matt Canada being part of that new administration, offensive coordinator, the three quarterbacks, you see a little bit of video of them right here. It's Tyler DeSue, Borton Schlager, and Legend Brumball are out there right now. And here's a picture or two of uh, Terrell Pagrome and Kasim Hill warming up. They're out here without the knee braces on, but they're not active in the drills behind us. Offensive line. You're going to have three guys who aren't going to start, probably, who are playing on the offensive line, which is McNair, Marcus Miner, and Terrell Hunt, who are in for Derwin Gray, Damian Prince, and Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, Call Meyer Consulting Engineers. And here's our reverse angle. Uh, we're going to watch a little bit of practice here ourselves. Uh, so you're going to see three non-starters on the offensive line. You're not going to have the quarterback. How do you think a guy like Matt Canada can prepare well when, gosh, at least four or five of the guys that he needs aren't going to be out there? Well, they just got to start from getting the guys that are going to expect to play up to speed. and. As we've seen so much, it really will help to have those guys that are ready to go in when an injury occurs. And as Durkin keeps on saying, it's a 99% injury rate, so you've got to be ready. Which means you have to expect to play. And his biggest thing that I've heard from him year after year is the best thing for this team is competition. And I think they finally have some competition here. Mm -hmm. uh, your take on Byron Cowart, and then we'll wrap it up here. Well, Coach Durkin addressed it today before practice. He likes how adult Byron Coward is. He likes how ready he is to get a fresh start. I don't feel like Auburn completely utilized his talent the way that he wanted or the way that they wanted. So hopefully Maryland will find that spot at defensive end where he wants to play and where they're going to want to play him that he can succeed to his full talent. And his full talent's pretty high. What number uh, was he rated when he came out of high school? He was in the top 10, number three by ESPN. And it was another one of those recruits that slipped away from the Randy Etzel guys. He went to Auburn, but now he's back, and he needs that new start, and Maryland's going to give it to him. So with Byron Coward on one side and a refreshed Jesse Antibonham on the other, boy, we're looking for the pass rush to be back this fall in College Park. For Red Turtle Productions, Wayne Viner, intern Mason, and uh, we will see you on the radio Wednesday night with Turp Talk and Saturday with the Sports Maven. And we're back out here in College Park as the Albany Great Danes come in to take on the Maryland men's lacrosse team. It should be a great one. We'll see you then.